Matt Barber and Cynthia Dunbar. This is them on the Faith and Freedom radio broadcast. It's like every day they try and out-crazy each other. Let's listen. They have effectively, the Boy Scouts of America, have committed a gay activist suicide here. This is the big <laughs> spoof on America of how we're going to sway your, uh, your mindset. It's the same type of thing that was done in pre-Holocaust Germany as far as propaganda and presentation and swaying the whole mindset of a nation. It's like every day they try to out-crazy each other. They have no connection to reality, no connection to sanity or logic or reason. They're not even trying to form coherent arguments that would make people want to agree with them anymore. They just try to go out there and whoever could say the most outrageous things. Gay activist suicide? What does that even mean, gay activist suicide? Look, he frames that, Matt Barber frames that as if to suggest Oh, these guys are shooting themselves in the foot, these Boy Scouts, by allowing uh, gay people in. Okay. Have you looked at no polls on how Americans feel about uh, homosexuality nowadays? Have you seen no polls? Because they all say the same thing. It's all, uh, on every recent poll, a majority of the American people are in favor of uh, gay marriage, for example. It's not the same country it was in 1950 where everybody had ignorant uh, beliefs in terms of uh, sexuality. Uh, they date themselves, they just date themselves. So because Matt Barber, in his mind, uh, doesn't like gay gayness, he projects that onto everybody in the country and says, well, the Boy Scouts are committing gay activist suicide by being in favor of it, by being in favor of treating gay people equally. No, the only person that's committing uh, some form of suicide in the sense that they are discrediting themselves and nobody takes them seriously is you. But then again, nobody ever took Matt Barber seriously, so <laughs> he's just piling on here. And then, uh, are you kidding me? Uh, Cynthia Dunbar, uh, the Boy Scouts being less discriminatory, quote, is the same type of thing that was done in pre-Holocaust Germany? No, you know what was done in pre-Holocaust Germany? Building gas chambers. It, you can't just compare anything that you don't personally like with the Holocaust. That just flat out irrational. That's like me, uh, you know, I don't like uh, bologna, or I don't like uh, liver. I know it's so random, I couldn't think of anything else. That's like me saying, oh, bologna, just like Nazi Germany. No, how's it like Nazi Germany? Just because I don't like it is like Nazi Germany? Just because you don't like gay equality means it's like Nazi Germany? And the, the irony is, of course, if anything is more like Nazi Germany, it's the opposite. Being discriminatory to the point where you say, you're not allowed in this group because we don't uh, approve of the kind of people you are. That's something the Nazis were more likely to do. We don't like gypsies. We don't like Jews. We don't like, uh, you know, gay people. That was another group of people the Nazis weren't fond of. We only like... Uh, the Aryan race, whatever that means.